How's it going guys? Welcome to another video of Real Sim Gaming. This video, as you may see in the title, different from our main topic. Today we are going to review a new brand in Pakistan but well known internationally. We are talking about Deep Cool. It's a Chinese brand and just to clarify that, it's not sponsored video at all. I'm not being paid for the video. And before we move on into our video, if you are new on the channel, you should check out our other content on the channel. It's all about PC gaming, news, gameplays, tutorials and PC hardware. If you have interest in any of the above, you should subscribe and push that bell icon so you do not miss out our next video. So today we are going to talk about the new Deepcool AIO or all-in-one liquid cooler, Deepcool Gamma X L240 V2. As we enter into summer season here in Pakistan, where I live in temperatures go around 37 degrees Celsius to 47 degrees Celsius. That's a lot to be comparing with winters. So a computer person or specifically a gamer like me or being a small YouTuber, I have to cool down my processor or CPU. If you already know that I have just upgraded from Intel i7-4790 to Ryzen 5 5600X. Comparing with Intel, it's a pretty hard CPU to work with. I have a video on this channel comparing these both CPUs. So you can check that out. I will put the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to our topic. I've been struggling hard to find a budget cooler for my CPU. Keeping in mind my requirements was should be in budget, have decent cooling because I'm not planning to overclock the CPU. And last but not the least should come with a RGB or in other words aesthetically must looks good. I was using my stock AMD Wraith Stealth CPU cooler until I find a decent cooler. In this video, you will see the complete review of Deepcool Gamax L240 V2 CPU cooler also in a direct comparison with the stock AMD cooler. I hope after watching this video to the end most of your questions will be answered. Please watch this video till end, you will get an idea what you are going to do next. We are going to talk about box components, the build quality, the installation process, how it looks after installation, noise level and how it performs in comparing price to performance in comparison with the stock cooler. So first of all. Let's talk about the box components. It comes with all the required accessories to install on AMD, Intel motherboards, almost every socket out in the market. Everything you need for the installation comes right out of the box, so you need nothing but a screwdriver to fix everything up, nothing else. Also, as a bonus, Deepcool gives a one-time use only thermal paste with that as well, that I'm using right now and testing its quality. One thing that it lacks, if your motherboard does not support or have an ARGB header on it, you are pretty much screwed. You have to buy an ARGB controller for yourself. It's not included in the box. The build quality. As we know, it's a budget cooler. So we cannot ask for some premium features like NZXT or some other like Corsair, right? But still it comes with decent build quality. By decent, I mean it looks plasticky, but still robust enough to withstand all the stress that cooler have to bear. The fan does not come with rubber pads on tops where we screw them, but still holds fine. It would have been nice to add those little rubber pads on them, but still will do the job. The pump and the hoses or the pipes are not as expected or you can see in some other coolers, but it comes with an anti-leak system with the radiator, so I'm pretty sure it will do the job. I will give it 7 out of 10 for the build quality. Let's move on to the next one. The next we have is installation process. So many of us are scared of the name liquid cooler. It kind of gives us a thought of smoke coming out of a PC, but no, it's not that easy to make it possible. Technology has gone so far now. And one who thinks it's hard to install such things on their PC or think that they cannot do it themselves. Well, I'd say give it a try and you'll install it in your first go. The manual that comes with it is so easy to install, just one to four steps to install it. Simple as that, nothing complex. The next thing we have is how it looks after installation. The ARGB on cooler pump or in the two 140mm fans, more brighter and bolder in terms of quality comparing with the price and for the some high coolers. It supports all the latest motherboards, softwares, Gigabyte, RGB Fusion, MSI Mystic Lite, ASRock RGB, ASUS Aura Sync, and some other softwares. So, as I said, RGB lights are so brighter, the logo on the pump looks mint, the fans are beautiful, powerful LEDs, and that should work for me. Looks absolutely stunning in my PC. Noise level. Well, it depends on how you take that. Some of you may have not even noticed noise while gaming on PC when all the fans are running to keep our PC cool and gives a look as well. 
Deepcool Gamax L240 V2 comes with 2x 120mm fans that runs automatically according the temps. So yes, it creates noise. Real noise when your PC is running hot. Fans do their best to keep it cool and running. So I guess it's worth it, right? But still, it gives noise. Last but not the least, how it performs in comparing price to performance and comparison with the stock cooler. It's been a while since I was using the stock AMD Raid Stealth cooler and on idle it starts hitting 60 sometimes and I was like what? But after installing Deepcool Gamax L240 V2, I don't believe my eyes, trust me. It dramatically reduced my temps like 20 degrees Celsius in some cases. For me, it's a lot, right? In this budget, what else you can expect from this? Price to performance, I will give it 10 by 10. It performs so well, I will be recommending this to all the budget gamers or starters for an AIO. Just go for it. And if you are curious for the price, in Pakistan you can find this in like 14,000 Pakistani rupees or 90 to 95 US dollars. I bought this from IRTech. They gave this beauty to me in 13,500 rupees including delivery charges. Of course, it's their love nothing else so thank you IRTech I will put the link of their Facebook page in description go check it out and give them a try for all computer accessory except GPUs and also if you give this channel reference you can get 300 rupees of discount so now I will leave you to see the difference of both coolers stock AMD cooler and the Deepcool Gamax L240 V2 AIO hope you like the video see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe like and share Enjoy the test.